This is the most widely grown apple in the British Isles. Uh, this is Bramley seedling. Now I've quite often uh, criticised this apple and um, whoops, on the grounds that there are better cooking apples that uh, you know it's quite prone to um, a number of problems it doesn't always crop regularly every year and that it's been overdone perhaps but when you look at a crop like this uh, you can really understand why uh, of all uh, English gardens that have got a, uh, a fruit an apple tree in them uh, it's more likely to be a Bramley than any other variety uh, it a, makes a very big tree uh, this particular tree stands about uh, well the main part of it is about 9-10 feet tall but there's a tall branch up there uh, judging from the height of my head where I come up to it that is about 16 feet tall and this particular brand, I made a video about this tree a while ago all that six, seven years ago, well, well, early on anyway. Can you see down there? For whatever reason, this tree has fallen over on its side. So I sawed, uh, sawed it off. You can see a big saw cut there that's largely healing over, not, maybe never completely heal over, dead centre of the picture. Um, and, and to an upright branch, and it's grown up from there. In this section of the orchard where I'm standing. Uh, we used to have about 30 Bramleys. Uh, we gradually got rid of them more and more. And I've been grafting them over to cider apples. Um, this is Kingston Black. I've done that for a number of reasons which don't concern this video. Um, essentially that we were growing more, more Bramleys than we had any use for. And uh, we're turning this area over to cider like these uh, Tremlets bitter, excellent uh, cider apple. Um, but we, we, we left ourselves two Bramleys. When Bramleys are properly tree ripened they do develop a lovely red colour. These are quite, oh dear, pulled the, that can happen if you're not careful, uh, pulled the fruit spare off of it. Um, It's a very good cookie, general purpose cooking apple, it makes great sauce, it makes great apple pies. Uh, it's not the only apple you can cook with. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not against the Bramley. Uh, it's just that it's, uh, it's so popular. The problem we have is, uh, you know, we'll go to a market, take some really nice quality Bramleys along, and people will have a look at them and say, oh, nice Bramleys. But I don't want to buy any of your Bramleys because um, one of my neighbours has a Bramley apple tree and uh, it, it gives about 60 or 80 pounds of fruit. I mean honestly, you, I don't know what weight there is on this tree, uh, but I'd be surprised if there's less than 110 pounds of fruit here. And that's not counting um, what's fallen and where the grass not by accident either, we've quite deliberately left the grass to grow fairly long um, under these trees so that they'll cushion the blow of any falling fruit so that it'll keep a bit better yeah, snip some other um, fruit bud off there. That is a fault by the way of all apples that have a very short stalk. Uh, there is a tendency, if you're not very careful, and even if you are, to lose the, um, the next year's uh, Potential. Okay then, I'm just going to back off to give you an idea with Julia here of how um, large this, uh, this particular Bramley apple is. So I don't want to discourage people from planting a Bramley uh, but don't uh, plant a Bramley in a small garden. Um, yeah, just, just don't. It's a big tree, and because it's a tip bearer, the fruit comes mainly on the tips, um, you can't 
really reduce the size of the tree very effectively by summer pruning. And it's just got a very vigorous, a very vigorous habit of growth. But it is, it is a good tree. It is a heritage apple. Uh, of all the apples we grow, uh, this is the least uh, rare and the least threatened. So here we have it, the Bramley seedling. Uh, there's a lot on it about, a lot about it on, on the web.